Hello! This is another tutorial on how to use GDAL in Python, and today we will look at how to read and write vector data with a Python script. Now here is what I've planned for today. So first of all we will look at how to open a shapefile or any kind of vector dataset in Python using GDAL, and here we will work with the shapefile I've created for my previous tutorial on how to work with vector data and GDAL from the command line. And as you might remember if you've watched that video, we created a new attribute field there that stores the area of each individual polygon. And today we'll do a similar thing just in Python and we won't compute the area, but I thought let's compute another useful measure, namely the parameter instead. After we've updated the attribute table, we will use Python and GDAL to write a new shapefile, but this will basically be just a copy of our input shapefile. But in order for you to know everything about reading and writing shapefiles, I thought we would also just create a polygon from scratch, or maybe not from scratch, but from the extent of our input shapefile, and then write that new polygon to an entirely new shapefile. Okay, just a short reminder of what the data looks like that we're going to work with. So we have this shapefile called merge, which looks like this fancy puzzle here, and its attribute table looks like this here on the right, so we have a feature ID, and we've already computed the area, and now we will create a new field that stores the length of the outline of each polygon. And then as a second step, we will create a polygon of the extent of this input dataset and write that to a new shapefile. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. And now let's start by opening shapefile using Python and GDAL, and specifically, by the way, OGR, which is the simple feature library. It is part of GDAL and allows you to do all kinds of vector-related stuff, so we will need that today. One more thing though before we start coding. Here you can see how a vector file is organized, and when we open a shapefile in Python, we first access a data source, so our merged shapefile. This data source stores a layer called merged, and we need to access this layer in order to access any features stored within it, which are our individual polygons of which we want to compute the perimeter. All right, now let's go to Python. Now the first thing that we will need to do is to import the simple feature library. So from OSGO import, this time not GDAL, but OGR. But as I said, OGR is part of GDAL, so if you have GDAL installed already, this should work for you as well. Okay. Now the first thing that we're going to access is the data source, and we will open our shapefile with OGR similar to opening a raster file with GDAL. So the function is OGR open, put our merged shapefile right here, and then one important thing is we want to edit our shapefile, so we will have to put a 1 here, 1 enables editing, 0 would be for read only. Okay, run this. And now you see we have here a data source of type OGR data source. Now we want to access the merged layer in our data source and we do so by typing, let's name that layer, and then from our data source we want to get a layer. Okay great, now we've loaded our merged layer and from that layer we can get a lot of information. For example, its extent, which we will need later on, so we will save that to a variable. So name that ext and we will get the extent from the layer by typing layer get extent. And here we go, here's our extent storing xmin, xmax, ymin and ymax values. Now there are also other things that we can get from our layer, for example the number of features. We can get information about those by typing layer and then get feature count and this prints out eight because we have eight polygons stored within our layer. For a complete list of things you can get from a layer, check out the GDAL webpage, go to OGR and then select layer, scroll down and you will see all the available methods right here. One final thing we're going to get from our layer in this tutorial is a feature. So we will call that feature and then from our layer we want to get a feature. Now we have several features stored within our layer, so let's select them by feature ID and let's for example select the feature that has the ID 1. And like this we get a variable of type OGR feature and let's check its ID by typing feature get field and then put FID in here. This of course prints out 1 because we've gotten the feature with a feature ID 1. Now as we have found out we have several features stored within this layer, so let's access all of them and we can do that with a loop. 
So for every feature that is stored within our layer, we want to print out the feature ID. So print feature get field and then again put feature ID in here. Okay, let's run this. And now you can see this prints out all the IDs of all the features within our layer. All right, so that's how you open a shapefile, get a layer and loop over all of its features. As a second step, let's now create a new shapefile that is a copy of our input merge shapefile. And for every feature in that new shapefile, we will compute the parameter. To write a vector file, we need a vector driver. So let's get that, call that driver. And then OGR get driver by name. And in this case, we need a driver to write a shapefile. So that's S3 shapefile. Now with this driver, we can create a new data source, call that out data source. And then we use our driver to create a data source. And now the name of our output shapefile is going to be out shape. And we can run this. Now we have a new out data source right here. And this data source does not have any layers or features yet, so we have to add those. In this case, we're not going to create any new features. I will show you how to do that in a bit. But first, we will just copy all of the features of our merge shapefile. So now we will create a new layer, call that out layer. And here we will just copy the layer from our original data source. So copy layer, input is layer here. And let's call the new layer within our out data source out. Now, as this out layer is an exact copy of the layer we retrieved from the merge shapefile, it already has two fields in its attribute table, namely the feature ID and the area of each polygon. If we now compute the parameter, we want to store that somewhere and we will do that in a new field that we create in the attribute table of our out layer. So let's define a field for our parameter, call that new field or whatever you like. And then we use the function OGR field define. We have to give that field a name, so let's call it perimeter. Now we also need to provide a type for this field, so we need to think about do we want to store an integer or a string, or like in this case, to get a precise measurement, a decimal number. So we will choose OGR OFT real. Now if you're familiar with creating fields in QJS, you will know that you not only have to provide a name and a type of the field you're creating, but also a length and precision if you're using decimal number. So let's do that in Python. So for a new field, we will set the width to let's take 10 characters, that should work. And set the precision to three. Now, after we've defined our new field, we still need to add that to our out layer. And we do that like this. So out layer, create field. And then the field that we want to create is the new field. Okay, now we have a new output shapefile, we have a new layer, we have a field to store a parameter in, but we still need to retrieve it and put the measurements into the field of the corresponding feature. And to access every feature in our out layer, we will again loop through all of them. So for feature in our out layer, we will get its geometry, which is a polygon. So geom equals feature get geometry ref. And now from this geometry, we can get its boundary and from the boundary, the length, which is the perimeter. So perim is the length of the boundary of our geometry. By the way, if you would want to get the area of a geometry instead, you could do that by using the method um, get area. We already have computed the area, so I'm going to delete that. And instead, now that we have a measure for the parameter, we still need to store that in the new field that we've created. So for our current feature, we will set the field perimeter that we've just created to our perimeter measurement right here. And now finally, we need to update the feature. So out layer, set feature. 
and put the current feature in there. All right, now this should hopefully work, but one final and important thing that we need to do, and you might remember this from reading and writing raster data, close your datasets. So we will set our out layer and our out data source to none. And now let's see if this works out just as we want it to. If I now import our out shapefile to QGIS, you can see it's an exact copy of the merge shapefile. But if I open its attribute table, you can see this shapefile now has a third attribute field that stores the perimeter for each polygon. Now what if we don't have an input shapefile that we can just copy, but want to create our own polygon in Python and save that to a shapefile? Well, we can do that with GDAL and OGR as well, and I will show you how. So let's first of all create a new geometry, and as I said in the beginning, I want to create a polygon that covers the extent of our input shapefile. So we've already gotten the corner coordinates up here, so let's use them to create a new geometry. Now we won't be able to directly create a polygon from those coordinates, but what we will do instead is to first generate a ring geometry that we can create by adding individual points that correspond to the four corners of the extent of our merge tape file. Okay, to create a new geometry, let's call that ring. We will use the function OGR geometry. And now here we need to specify the geometry type and because we want to create a ring first and then convert that to a polygon, we will use OGR WKB, which stands for well-known binary and linear ring. Now to this ring, we want to add different points that are located exactly at the lower right, lower left, upper left and upper right corner. And please note, we want to go exactly in this order because we want to create a ring that will then result in a rectangular polygon. If you mess up the order, for example, if you go from upper left to lower right, your polygon will rather look like an hourglass. So be aware of that and let's add some points. So ring, add point. Let's add a point at the coordinates of our lower left corner, which are described by the x min and y min values of our extent. So to get those, we call extent and then get the first one, x min, and then the third one, which is y min. I will speed the following part up, but please note I'm adding points anti-clockwise. You could also go clockwise, but the important thing is that you create a proper ring. Okay, and as you might have noticed, I've not only added four points, but five. And the last one is equal to the first one, and I'm adding that to close my ring. And if you don't do that, your polygon will lack a boundary. So close your ring. And now that we have that, we can convert that to a proper polygon. So first we will again create an empty geometry, call that poly, and again run OGR geometry. And this time the type will be polygon. Okay, and now to our polygon, we can add the geometry we've just created, and that will automatically convert the ring to a polygon. All right, only one thing left to do, and that is to save our newly created geometry to a shapefile. We already know how to create a new data source, so we can just copy that line up here and just change the name to extent. And now again, we will need a layer to store a polygon in, but we cannot create this by simply copying a layer like up here, but we have to create a new one. So call that out layer and we will use our out data source to create a layer, call that extent. And we will also need to provide a spatial reference. And for the sake of simplicity, I will just steal that from the merge tape file. So from our original layer, I want to get the spatial reference. If you cannot get the spatial reference from a previously open file, you can instead use the OSR module from the GL library. So you would have to import that. Just as we did with OGR, create a spatial reference like this. You can leave that empty. And then set your spatial reference system by using an EPSG code, for example. So this would look something like this, import from EPSG. And then your EPSG code goes in here. Okay, but we already have a spatial reference, so we can create a new layer. But what we don't yet have is a feature that we will store in our layer and that has the geometry of our polygon. 
So let's create that, call that feature, and we will define a feature like this, OGR feature. And then when we create a new feature, we need to make sure that it has all the attribute fields required by the layer that we're going to store it in, so the out layer in this case. We can make sure this feature has all the necessary attribute fields like this, out layer get layer definition. Okay, when we have a feature, we need to assign it the geometry of the polygon that we have created. So feature set geometry to poly. And now that this is all set, we can finally assign this feature to our out layer by typing out layer create feature and set that to feature. Don't forget to close our out data source, out layer, and feature that we have opened. Set that to none and run everything. And now here it is, a new polygon that covers the extent of our merge tape file. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I will leave the code and a couple of useful links in the description below, like for example, the GDAL webpage and also the GDAL and OGR cookbook for Python, where I got some inspiration for this video. It has some really nice code snippets, so definitely check that out if you want to further explore what you can do with vector data and GDAL and Python. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions for GDAL and Python stuff that I should cover in future videos. I have a couple of things in mind, but I'm also interested in knowing what you guys think. So see you soon and have a good day.